Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so let's take this swiping method and technique to a completely different level and vibe. I'm using all metallic colours on a black base. So I've got a copper, a bronze, a silver and a gold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those colour palettes with my black base to design a completely different look to what I've done before. So I'm gonna use not one, not two, not three, but four embroidery hoops. And I'm going to use some block colors. So within each of those hoops, I'm gonna have a different color. And then I'm gonna swipe on the outside of one of those rings. So first of all, let's get the base color down and let's see how we progress through this process. There are some air bubbles, so I'm just using my torch to pop those bubbles. And then I'm gonna take one ring at a time. So starting with the largest hoop, I'm gonna place that on the surface of my canvas. I press it down lightly just to ensure that the hoop connects with the base coat of the paint that you can see, just to kind of lock in that kind of area. And then I'm gonna take my next size hoop and I'm gonna place that on the edge and just going to press lightly to allow it to connect with the paint to lock in that colour and then so on and so on until I've done all four of my hoops. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So let's move on to the colours. So within each area of these hoops, I'm going to layer the copper, the bronze, the silver and the gold. I'm going to have the copper, the biggest area surface that you can see here that I'm layering now. And then I'm going to move down those rings with the bronze, the silver and the gold. I'm going to do one area at a time. So I'm adding some of the paint within that area that I'm concentrating on now. And then what I'll do is I will get some toilet paper or whatever you use. It may be a paper towel or a different kind of swiping tool. And I'm just going to swipe that color around that surface area to completely fill in that area. And I'm gonna do that each time within each section of the hoops and then what I'll do is I will remove the hoops and then swipe a completely different area to have a totally different composition. I'm really excited with this. I've not done anything like this before um, and I'm excited for you to see how this progresses but it's really important to me that I really just take time no rushing, no real expectations on putting pressure on myself on developing the perfect end piece. Let's just enjoy the time that we're in now, of the here and now, and work on the creation one step at a time. So you can probably already see, but I just wanted to say I have sped up the video in certain areas and in certain places because I don't want you to get bored, but I want you to see the full process that I'm doing. 
And as I said, I'm just taking my time, even though the video has been sped up a little bit. As you can see it's really important not to add too much color because when you lift those hoops up you don't want really the colors to expand too much and bleed into the other areas that you've already layered so layer some painting first and do some swiping and if you feel like you need a little bit more paint because some of that paint will be absorbed by the toilet paper or the paper towel that you're using and you can just add in a little bit more color if you think it's needed. I repeat this for each of those sections and that's why I only put a little bit of paint down at a time because I can always add some more later. It's more difficult if you've got too much and you need to take that paint away from the surface of that canvas. Okay, so the moment of truth. I'm going to remove one embroidery hoop at a time, just slowly by lifting the hoop up. You will have a connection between the hoop and the paint, but just allow that paint to gently break before you pull the hoop completely away from the creation. If the paint is still connected to the hoop, then use something like a palette knife just to pop that connection. If you pull it up, and pull it away whilst it's still connected to the paint it's going to splash in other areas and then it just means that you'll need to do a little bit more touching up but so far so good i'm removing one ring at a time and i'm really happy with the amount of color that i've used because it hasn't spread across the design once i remove the hoops So I'm happy with this, it's almost a happy dance, but I'm going to resist until I have continued to con with this creation. I'm going to now swipe, but I'm not going to layer the paint all the way around the outer circle. I'm just going to use two colours. I'm going to use a gold and a silver. And I'm just going to swipe halfway around this design. I don't know if that's the right decision, but I'm just gonna go with it. That's what my gut feeling's telling me. I'm just gonna take the gold and I'm going to just gently layer it around this half of the circle. And then I will take my silver and continue it around this half of the circle. So what I'm trying to create is almost a, a balance of darkness into light so half of the canvas will just continue with the block color of black that you can see that we've already layered on the base and then the other half of the canvas is where that bursts completely through into some light and that light is going to be created by swiping just the gold and the silver against the black background
So just for a little bit of contrast, I'm just going to add a couple of splashes of the gold on top of the silver and then a couple of splashes of the silver on top of the gold. And that's going to really help me create a depth to this piece. Okay, so the time is now to swipe. Again, I have sped up some parts of this video, but I wanted you to see the full swiping when I do this area of the silver and the gold. I'm just using toilet paper and I haven't dampened the paper at all. This is dry paper and I allow the paper to connect and lay gently on top of the paint and I will slowly pull the paper in one direction to create those lines of that swipe and that's almost creating that burst of light so remember when you layer the paper on top of the paints just allow it to gently lay on top slowly pull it in the direction that you want to and then lift the paper off Okay, I'm really happy with that section. So I'm just gonna finish this last piece and then I will start swiping the gold section. And then what I'll do is once I've swiped this section, I'm going to go back over all of this again, but with a piece of toilet paper that is half the width of the paper that I've already used. I always do this with my swipes, especially if you've seen some of my most recent pieces. By reducing the width of the paper that you're using will help create that 3D effect and it will help create that depth and movement in a piece that you're trying to create. So really the idea here is to use that smaller width paper to fill in some of the very dark areas between those bursts of light. So really I've got a half of a canvas that's purely black, which is the darkness. And then we've got the other half of the canvas that's bursting through the light using just the silver and the gold swipes. I am so happy with this one and I absolutely love how I'm evolving with this technique. So let's go in now for a close up of the wet version so I can show you some of those details. And then what I'll do is I'll let this dry and then I'll take you in for a dry look version.
I'm absolutely loving this result. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the idea of the darkness going into the light by only swiping half of the canvas and then leaving the other half completely that block colour? I'd really love to know what you think. So let me take you in for a dry look version now. And here we go. It's dried perfectly. I haven't yet varnished it. I will varnish this with a gloss varnish. I use a spray varnish by Winsor & Newton. But I just want this to dry for a few more days before I apply that varnish. And to be honest, varnishing isn't one of my most favourite tasks when I do a creation. So maybe I'm putting that off for a few more days really. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you think of this piece. And I'm going to evolve a little bit more. I'm going to create a different vibe using the embroidery hoops and using the swipe technique. So I just want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for all of your support. If you like this video, please give it a like. It helps it reach other people that may also be interested in this type of technique. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great week ahead. And remember, be kind to yourself. Take care. Bye.